in the stage. Chair, Conference, Stephen Dillon, Unite the Union. Moving Contemporary Res Resolution 1 in the name of Unite the Union on blacklisting and workers' justice. Attack, attack, attack. Be under no doubt that an attack on the rights of trade unions to legally organise is an attack on democracy itself. And an attack on the hard working rights of working people. For years, trade unionists have known there have been secret forces at work in this country, working to undermine their democratic rights. Last year, Unite Scotland hosted an exhibition commemorating 30 years since the bitter new international dispute. A dispute that seen members of our predecessor unions taking action against Rupert Murdoch in Wapping and Kinning Park in Glasgow. Secret police files have revealed that the special branch officers, spy cops, were spying on trade unionists as they went about their lawful peaceful protest. In England and Wales, the Pitchford Inquiry will look at all aspects of undercover policing going back to 1968. The Scottish Government announced that they will review policing in Scotland, but it's only a review by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary. It won't take evidence in public, it won't be able to compel evidence, and its only remit is to go back to the year 2000. This Scottish Government is doing less on this issue than the Tory Government in Westminster. That is shameful conference. <laughs> Scotland needs its own inquiry. To do otherwise is to not only deny justice to victimise workers of Scotland. We also know there is evidence that police help rogue employers create blacklists of workers. Last year, United reached te a £10 million settlement from blacklisting construction firms who ruined the lives of hundreds of trade unionists who did nothing more than take legal action to promote better safety, pay and security for their fellow workers and their families. But many of these blacklisting firms are enjoying a share of a £1.5 billion bonanza of the Scottish taxpayers' money. Multi-million pound contracts to provide services to the NHS, Network Rail and local authorities, including the prison service. Companies like these are leading the consortium to build the new Dumfries Hospital. And at this very moment, we Unite the Union are fighting with those companies so that we are provided with proper access, proper trade union facilities and the right to speak freely to the workforce. Is that trade union right not a basic human right? Last month, the First Minister visited this hospital and praised, yes, she praised the contractors for exceeding their job creation targets, but she said nothing nothing about the blacklisting history of the present day denial of a basic human right. One way of addressing blacklisting as Labour councils in Renfrewshire and North Ayrshire and only yesterday Fife and Aberdeen followed closely by Glasgow and North Lanarkshire is for public authorities to adopt the construction charter taking the view that construction contracts should only go to companies who recognise unions who provide direct employment, adhere to health and safety standards, and honour trade union negotiated agreements and rates of trade. <laughs> Conference, exploitation and abuse of conditions is rife in the construction industry. Recently on the flagship Fourth Crossing project, we uncovered evidence of migrant workers being paid less than the national minimum wage and its widespread use of umbrella companies. Clearly a scam to avoid proper payments of national insurance, holiday pay, sick pay and the proper rate for the job. Keith Brown promised us he would get ACAS 
to conduct a pay audit and act on this. The contract work is almost complete and ACAS tell us that they cannot resource us or they have no expertise to conduct such an audit. And in Aberdeen, gang masters, I personally have witnessed this. Gang masters operating on the new road project. 40 Senegalese workers with Portuguese passports staying in a house, in the same house, all paying £300 each per week, deducted straight from their wage. One worker's wife and child died when was given birth and the workers had to chip in to send the worker home. Shocking conference is just shocking. Some of these workers slip into the night and start a new life in Great Britain. This was proved when immigration raided the new force crossing project and arrested workers who may, may have been illegal immigrants. It looks like conference is just can the latest example of the SNP government talking the talk with no intention of walking the walk. I'll finish on this chair. A government that denies justice to trade unionists who have been spied on by the state is not a government for working people. And a government that gives public contracts to known blacklisters without any guarantee or scrutiny that they have stopped the practice is not a government for working people. And a government that is not for working people is a government for increased power and influence of the rich, by the rich and for the rich in our politics, in our economy and in our society. And that conference is a threat to our democracy and a threat to the working lives of every worker in this country. Thank you.